Hello and welcome to today's episode of AMA Geology. This is the series where I answer your questions about the science of geology, about planet Earth and the way that the planet works. Now today's question comes from Richie Painting and he asks, how does flint and chert form? Now, first of all, we need to know exactly what it is that we're talking about. So, flint is a crypto-crystalline sedimentary rock and what that means is it's a rock made of crystal that you can't see the crystal forms. So it's, it doesn't look like uh, an amethyst or, uh, or smoky quartz or anything like that or sugar crystals. It just looks a bit like a homogeneous mass. Uh, chert, by extension, is the same material but the, the material isn't as crystalline it's quite rough, it doesn't have the glassy texture that quartz does. So how does flint and chert form? First of all, it's made of quartz. So where does the quartz come from? Well originally the quartz in these rocks would have been parts of the skeletons of creatures. Originally uh, the sponge spicules, so the internal skeletons of sponges, or possibly the external skeletons of creatures called radiolaria, and those are really tiny animals that are uh, part of the plankton that live in the ocean. And what happens is these creatures have died, they've fallen to the sea floor, or at least their skeletons have, that are made of this material quartz, silicon dioxide, have fallen to the sea floor, and they've left layers of uh, tiny, tiny uh, skeletons of quartz across the sea floor. And then once this material has been buried under enough uh, enough sediment, what happens is uh, that sediment undergoes a process called diagenesis and now it's a bit like metamorphism but nowhere near as high a temperature or as high a pressure and it also includes chemical changes in that process as well and it's basically a, a way that uh, sedimentary rocks can change from one form to another and what happens is that silica, that silicon dioxide, the um, material essentially it liquefies, it becomes a very gooey gel and then it can fill in spaces within the sedimentary rock and those spaces might have been left by burrows or the insides of larger shells for example things like sea urchins and then it fills those spaces and then it solidifies again back into this crypto crystalline or not barely crystalline mass. Some of the spaces that this material can get into can be the insides of fossils, the insides of things like the shells of sea urchins or gastropods or other marine creatures. Now here for example is a piece of uh, uh, flint from uh, southwest England and you can see the black colour of the flint there, it's quite porous and cherty on the outside. This was obviously the edge that was in contact with the sediment so it hasn't quite had the ability to form this glassy consistency but what it's done is it's filled in the internal mould of a gastropod. This is a small snail from the early Cretaceous period and what you can see is it's swirling up inside the gastropod towards the top there. Now the shell has dissolved away and you're left with this internal cast. So that's how flint and chert forms. Now if you've got any questions of your own or you'd like to learn more about any of the things that we mention here on uh, AMA Geology, feel free to drop us a line or email a question. 